Hello and welcome to the Tuesday, June 13th, 2023 edition of the Sands and its Storm Center's Stormcast. My name is Johannes Ulrich and today I'm recording from Jacksonville, Florida. Last week I talked about attacks against a Geo server. We saw some scans in our web honey pods last week and I promised I'll look into that a little bit deeper. Well, got around to setting up our usual honey pod that actually implements the full uh, Geo server. It's a Docker container in that case. That's sort of how we set it up. And well, a big surprise, it was the same group that is also going after these NiFi servers. Very similar software and uh, issue here in some ways. With NiFi, we had a Java application that does allow as part of its normal functionality that a user can execute arbitrary code. Similar here with GeoServer, again, again, it's uh, written in Java and has functionality to then execute a code. GeoServer is meant to essentially manage map data. It's an open source project. And just like NiFi, if you just sort of install the basic software, again, I did it with a Docker container, then you have no authentication pre-configured. There's a one advantage from a defensive point of view running it in a Docker container. I used the default GeoServer uh, container, a little bit an older version to see if maybe they were going after some vulnerability or such. But uh, by running in a Docker container, there's not a lot of software that the attacker can actually here use things like uh, curl for example don't exist inside a docker container which in the end broke the exploit and the script uh, did not get downloaded and then uh, the attacker wasn't able to run it so uh, one advantage here of running it in docker certainly something that's a good idea also from isolating the system from the rest of your systems and I mentioned yesterday the vulnerability in Fortinet devices. And we didn't have a lot of details uh, because FortiGuard had yet to release any advisory. Well, we do have the advisory now. The vulnerability is in 40 OS and affects the 40 proxy SL VPN. It's a heap-based buffer overflow and it does allow an attacker to execute arbitrary code. No authentication required. We knew already about that uh, yesterday and a list of uh, detailed affected products and versions can be found in the Fortinet advisory. And password manager Bitwarden fixed a serious vulnerability in its Windows product if you had Windows Hello enabled in order to authenticate. The idea of Windows Hello is that you biometrically authenticate to your system, which will then unlock the password wallet. However, what apparently happened here was that the master key that is created and that's supposed to be protected by Windows Hello it's readable even if you never authenticate via Windows Hello. So by just commenting out the code that actually requires authentication to Windows Hello, you can just bypass that and still read the key to decrypt the password wallet. This vulnerability has been fixed. And well, then we have a story about the availability part of the CIA triad. Uh, don't really talk much about this, uh, but apparently Western digital hard drives introduced a new somewhat controversial feature where the smart uh, diagnostic system on the hard drive will indicate imminent failure once the hard drive hits three years of age. Now, typically hard drives, yes, have a somewhat limited lifetime, but data published by companies like, for example, Backblaze, who use a lot of hard drives, indicate they often either fail in the beginning or, well, after a very, very long time. This sort of indicates that there is no real magic behind just calling a hard drive old or uh, about to fail once it hits three years of H. So uh, this is really sort of more one of those flags that you are probably 
safe to ignore but your disk management software your operating system may still warn you of that imminent failure well that's it for today remember that today on tuesday we do have a rerun of our rsa keynote as a public webcast link will be in the show notes again so if you weren't able to attend rsa this is your chance to actually see our recreation of that webcast thanks talk to you again tomorrow bye